Hey guys, so I know this is like a crazy angle, but I'm sitting in the back seat. Last night, I can't even believe this happened. Someone literally hit our car, our passenger door, and we don't know if it was their car. We don't know if they did it on purpose. We do have a gay pride thing in the back of our car and things like this do happen. I don't know if it was on accident. I don't know. I don't know, but I tried opening the passenger door and it wouldn't open and it was um, at night when we realized this happened so I couldn't see the dent but then we were like oh my god what is like why isn't the door opening and then that's when we realized it so right now we're at an auto parts place and we're gonna see how we can fix this because I have to sit in the back seat so I'm currently in the back and I'm just like I don't like it back here. I like sitting in the front. So yeah, and after we do that, we're actually going to Becky's nephew's birthday party. So I'm super excited for that. I just figured I'd start vlogging a little bit more. I don't know, I've been doing a lot of sit down videos and I'm sure you guys are like low key fed up with those. So let's start vlogging again. My vlogs are not the most entertaining thing in the world, but you guys have requested them so i'm actually wearing a dress today and look at i'm actually wearing a long necklace i used to wear long necklaces all the time but i stopped i'm also wearing a short one but uh yeah so you guys when i sit here my bun really touches the roof look like this is not cute so we have arrived Look how beautiful. There's like a huge lake, but we're all gonna be oh. over there a to um, like have a little party and shindig. Hey guys, so since the last clip you saw, it's been probably about a week. I have not been doing the greatest when it comes to vlogging or filming in general. I feel like I need to snap out of this. I know this is my job, but this isn't a conventional job this job is very different and for other people who do vlogs or just like blogs online or people who are authors or even singers sometimes they lose steam and I feel like that's what I'm going through right now but I'm trying to snap out of it so just to say there's a rumor going around that I had a stroke or something like that no, I don't know where that's even coming from. That is not something to joke around about. So I don't know why people have formed that rumor or anything like that. That's very odd to me, but no, no stroke. I'm great. <laughs> Besides the fact that I am extremely nervous because as you guys know, I had a counselor, but it was an online counselor and I realized the fit wasn't for me. And a lot of people were like, you should see someone in person. It'll be more beneficial to you. So I'm gonna do that. Today is my first appointment. I am really, really nervous, but I know it needs to be done. It is, wow, pricey. I never knew how expensive it was. And I drop money on things that I don't technically need. Journals, jewelry, going out to eat so many clothes i've been buying buying clothes like no one's business and i need to realize that spending money on therapy is a lot more important than a new dress you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to just keep telling myself that it'll be worth it but it's like so much in my head i keep thinking is it really going to be worth it i've done therapy so many times in the past because as a foster kid Therapy is kind of something you need. So I have been through my grapevine of counselors, therapists. So it's like, it never worked before, so why would it now? But I am older now and I'm gonna really take advantage of this situation. But yeah, I'm nervous, wish me luck. Hi, so I have... Babe, why do you sound like that? <clears throat> I don't know, it must have been like a frog in my throat or something. Zooming in on Chucky's face. Don't you think it's close enough? Okay, talk about your Chucky. Um. Oh, 
Uh, let's see. What can I say about this shirt? Um, I went to Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. And got this Walmart shirt with Chucky on it at Walmart. A really awesome shirt that I only had to pay seven dollars and fifty cents for, <laughs> instead of going to somewhere like <laughs> Torrid. Torrid. Where I buy all my stuff. Zoomies or whatever it's called. Zoomies, babe. Zoomies. What is a Zoomies? I don't know. I don't care what that stupid store is. <laughs> Zoomies. Um, and paying, you know, I don't know, probably twenty five dollars they would charge for something like this. Yeah, I got it for seven fifty at Walmart. <laughs> Why do you say Walmart like that? Becky and her, her cheap Walmart shirts. Yes, you're jealous because I got it cheap at Walmart. <laughs> and I didn't have to pay $25 for it. Oh, this is why I love you. I love you too. You're silly as hell. I don't care the price of anything. I just don't. If it's cheap, yes. Get it. If it's expensive, yes. Get no. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we have to go to Saks Fifth, Fifth Avenue in Hollywood. We have to go get really expensive clothes because I'm too good for Walmart. Babe, what are you on right now? I don't know. It's annoying people. Walmart clothes? That's disgusting. <laughs> She's literally venting, as you could tell. Me over here. Oh my god, I've been sleeping with my makeup on. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing it. Babe, why are you judging me? Babe, why are you judging me? So, I'm just gonna get, like, dressed and stuff. Yesterday, I was looking bomb.com, but I didn't vlog at all. Um, so I need to, like, update you guys on, like, my counseling that I went to a couple days ago, and things like that, and I just need to get ready, because I think we're gonna go on you now. Oh my god. I've been really good about not sleeping on makeup, but sometimes it happens, so... Hashtag not perfect. Okay, so I'm about to take my medicine. Just recently got off of you now. Ugh, I hate, I hate using plastic cups. I don't know what it is, but this is the only one that we had that would fit my Sprite. I wanted to update you guys on my therapy. I'm actually about to take my medicine. I have been putting my medicine in these. This is just like a little medicine tracker that you put your medicine in and it's been helping me remember to take it every day at the same time as soon as I wake up. Um, I've been awake for a couple hours, but that's okay. I usually take it within the same time frame. Um, I'm drinking Sprite Zero, by the way. <laughs> it was so just soothing. I feel like I wasn't like focused, sorry. My camera has been really weird because Becky was using it um, to film her coming out story and she pressed some weird button and it's been glitched every time I don't know what button it was I don't know how to fix it so I already have another appointment on Thursday to go back to therapy and it's been really good for me I've I actually really really enjoyed talking to someone in person and since it was just the first meeting like it wasn't anything too like crazy but I still like had a little bit of tears go on and I noticed which I'm happy I noticed this even though I talked about a tons of different things the two times I mentioned my childhood is when I got tears in my eyes I feel like that's something really interesting that I need to focus on and yeah it was just really good it's really eye-opening the way I do things the reason I do things is a lot because of my past and it's trauma it's childhood trauma like she explained to me that for a lot of people it's very easy for people to tell you oh just forget about your past it doesn't matter now just think about your future and your present 
but she said that when people do that it's pretty much like people ignoring that you do have trauma from the past that you need to heal from or um, understand a little bit more so yeah and she also said a lot of the things that I do is because of my depression because the chemical imbalance in your brain and it's just I'm needing this you guys were right in-person therapy was definitely definitely more rewarding and more easier not easier but better for me to understand myself and what they're trying to convey to me than when I had an online therapist I'm not saying anything's wrong with online therapy or counseling it's just definitely wasn't for me um I'm super happy about this so I really do want to start vlogging again I'm gonna try my hardest I'm just letting you guys know now my vlogs aren't gonna be the best thing in the world because my life is bland I have a routine life and nothing spectacular really happens and <laughs> that's just my life and that's just the way I'm living it right now so anyways I'm gonna finish this drink because your girl's thirsty and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit hey guys so it's actually been a few days since I last filmed I just wanted to end this vlog so I could start a new one I want to give you guys like an update on my weight and kind of talk about what I'm doing and things like that so definitely keep an eye out for that but anyways I'm gonna end this video I hope you guys enjoyed I don't even remember really what was in this video but I'll see you guys in the next one bye